Beck, you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Absolute correct response. Everybody, it's our chum panel! Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I'm 
and an unslithering for life. Same forever. Forever. Same. 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 Um, given people actually still at the show, I bet you get this all the time, but would you guys have, is there ever talk of a reboot or a Netflix thing or anything like that? You to say? Did Cause like, oh, you on the show that everyone always is like, can we get shot back in case? <laughs> Double Ben, no idea. Uh, you know, it's not up to us. Uh, if, if the network chooses to make it again and wants us, uh, of course, I think we'd all love to do it and work together again. Uh, but, you know, nobody's, nobody's called me yet. Uh, you guys hear anything? But it is, it's that show, whenever like people talk about just so many legacy like shows are having like new rebirths for the stream. Charmed and Buffy seem to be the two that everyone is always really pushing to get out of the game. And it, again, like it'd be so good to sort of revisit. Would you guys love to go back to those characters today? I would love to go back to the character and have red hair again. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's something that we've all talked about and it's something that we would love to do, but there's so many hurdles that have to get to it, and so the closest thing that we thought we could do ultimately was we could basically give people something exciting to talk about, and so that's why Holly Ryan and I have that podcast, which is the House of Power Law, and we kind of are redoing it, we wanted this series from the beginning and kind of like adding insights to, and it's the best way we thought we could bring original content that's still in the Charm universe um, without basically a full review. How does it feel re-watching it? How's, do you, it's my first time. Uh, have you never watched it before? Well, I have never watched it before. I haven't watched it either. Oh really? Because I, I wouldn't be able to. I, like, I, I hate to watch myself. I don't know how you can do it. It's, it's, it's the uh, worst. Oh, uh, do you, because again, like, it's hard enough when you sometimes like see pictures of yourself, but to watch like yourself at work is actually. I don't I don't know. Is there anything you you watch and go, oh yeah. Many things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, how did they keep me on the show? Yeah. Yeah. You're great. Yeah. You're old right? I saw like as someone who's never seen the show before and watching it for the first time, I get it now. Like I'm two seasons in essentially and I'm like, this show is great. Like I'm having so much fun. I'm watching episodes multiple times. Like I get it. Like I'm fully on board. I don't think you didn't get it before. Well, like, I'm, I'm in this bad I don't get it. Well no no, it's not that I didn't get it. I just didn't maybe fully understand like the, the total fandom of it. And now I'm, I'm kind of low-key obsessed with it. Like I love watching them work. It's so fun. It's a great show. Could you remember all the storylines when you got that point where you're like, oh yeah. No, no, we haven't, we're only two seasons in. Really? Yeah, loads to go. What? I'm not going to spoil anything. No spoil. But yeah, you've got, you've got loads to go. Apparently I die. <laughs> I've been told. Spoilers again for you. Sorry. If you haven't seen it, I die. I am, um, I as we've got a lot of fans here, we will get to uh, audience questions in a moment. But one thing that I just was interested in knowing, obviously you guys have got the podcast, um, but you know, what else is, is happening? What else is exciting you at the moment? What are you up to? Uh, I think everyone likes to know what you as a person uh, individually are up to. What, what's, what are you getting passionate about? I'm starting my second book. My first book, Brave, is a bestseller. And mm -hmm. I've been really happy. The audience here, thank you. I worked very hard on it. And the next book is about my life in Mexico and some crazy adventures I've had there.
so much pickleball. It hasn't come over here yet, well, but it will. Pickleball. Yeah. No, this is a man. It's, it's, it's not made up. It's real. Poison. It's like tennis and ping pong and badminton. If they had a child, it's pickleball. I don't. It's it's a it's a problem. I have a problem, and it will be here. Remember this conversation in like a year when everyone's talking about it and playing. If you had to pitch pickleball to Europe, what's your what's your elevator pitch? Do it. <laughs> just do it. Well, that's Nike's pitch. Yeah. I'm piggybacking on Nike. Just do it. Pickleball. Everyone's Googling that. And yeah. so, the, the, whoever looks at Belgium's Google, they spike. It's going to be like, oh, it's pickleball. Yeah, right. Right. Guys, we are going to ask questions. So if you have a question, please get your hands up. And we will, we're going to get Mike out into the audience.
wanted you to know that you were special. If you feel different, you're a part of us, just like us, and that you have magic inside of you also. Again, yeah, we go right through. Hi, yeah. um, my name is Eric. This is a question for the ladies. Um, so I was just wondering, your celebrities, you've been obviously through lots of positive emotions, lots of negative ones. How do you recommend or how do you actually deal with the negativity and just putting yourself on that positive way in your mind? So do you do some meditation or whatever it is? Just share with me. I should meditate. We should start meditating. Um, yeah, it's kind of a wild ride. It's always tough to navigate the ups and the downs. Some days you cry, some days you laugh, some days you go to boxing class and beat things up. <laughs> Just because I love my origin story and I got to, I learned about who I was and where I was coming from and all the things. And so when I read that script, it was really exciting for me to kind of figure out finally who he was. Because I think we were along the way still trying to piece it together. And by the time that episode came across our my desk, it was like, oh, okay, this is who he is and this is his mission. And it was a lot
it's just an odd upbringing. So, you know, family is not just your bloodline, it is what you make it. And I've very much traveled along with me a couple of decades later. Just a couple. <laughs> soft and, and gentle and I, I think that's a big part of me and uh, you know understanding and caring and, and uh, you know I think that's a lot a lot of Leo lives in me. Uh, yeah Leo it's all about Leo. <laughs> Leo, Leo, Leo. I haven't seen the show so long ago. I, I can't give you an informed, honest answer as of right now. I can't. You ask a lot of questions like Chris does. Oh, I'm oh, curious. All right, questions. that's great. I'll, I'll own that. So yes, we're curious in nature. <laughs> just a last question. If we could just get the mic back to this minute. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to be that guy and ask the question. Do you ever think we'll see all four sisters in the same room at the same time? Say that again, sorry. Do you think we'll see all four of the sisters in the same room at the same time? Oh! <laughs> huh. <laughs> CGI has become amazing. Magic can happen. Magic can happen. There we are. Guys, we have to let it go. Uh, Thank you. you. Please go sit at the table. Guys, thank you so much for being here, for supporting the show. Our charm battle giving it one more